everyone good evening so this is linkedin live actually this is my very first linkedin live so welcome uh, many of you have registered and you are joining me live so hello to all of you wherever you are and uh, this today we are going to touch upon the things which interviewers want to hear from you okay you must have seen many youtube videos or have uh prepared for specific interview questions right but that is your side that's what you prepare okay that is about your career history your skills experience but the way i want you to approach interviews is to understand what interviewers want from you what's their goal in mind while taking your interviews if you can understand that and prepare for interviews accordingly god you are unstoppable okay you will be able to show them that you are the perfect candidate and they should not even look at other candidates how about that would you like to get into a, such a situation where they like you so much that they are selecting you right on spot right so how when this will happen is you will give them what they are asking for exactly they might not say it directly they will not frame it as an interview question but internally that's what they want from you how about that so in this linkedin live quickly we will in next 15 minutes we will cover what interviewers want you get want you answer during the interviews all right so let's get right to it and i'll cover four things and if you have any questions make sure you are typing in the ch chat box below and i'll get those questions and i can answer them live or if not then you are watching this recording still you can comment below i'll be answering those questions at other time okay i'll be checking this live video which will appear on linkedin my linkedin profile and i'll be answering all your questions all right and if you feel that you are searching for a job and you are not getting the best job in the market you are not getting good offers or you are not getting even shortlisted for the right opportunities if you want like one and a half hours of power packed session with me i'm doing a live webinar just tomorrow okay saturday 7 pm indian time all right so you can register for that and i'll give you that link in the comments below and i'll show you that link towards the end of this linkedin live all right so as we have been saying topic for today is four questions hiring managers want answered from you during interviews now let's go right in the first one okay um uh, the first one is will you help them achieve their goal again as i've been saying this is not the interview question they are going to pose but internally they want get answered from you finally that hiring manager is questioning internally if they hire you will you help them achieve their goals and for that to happen you need to know what their goals are what is that company struggling with what are those top 3 kpis they measure for your role or your department what is that department's goal scale balance scorecard is why are they looking for someone like you what is that role and responsibility they want you to do and then show them how your skills past experience education certifications key personality characteristics your contacts will help them achieve those targets all right basically they are going to hire for their benefits not your benefit right i mean that's a win win you will have to help them achieve over time and during interviews you should be able to ask or sorry answer that if they hire you they you will help them achieve their targets okay so this is the very important one what is the value you are giving them in return of salary when you are thinking only about yourself you are only thinking oh i need that job i have this skill i have this unique experience but now you put yourself in the hiring manager's shoes and understand finally that is a also some person in that organization chart 
that hiring manager is might be heading a department they have some kpis objectives goals how you coming into the picture will help them achieve their uh, results right so if you can articulate that through all the answers i'll give you an example typical introduce yourself is not your life story you will have to articulate what the role you are applying for how you are best suited for that and then give examples of your past history when they ask you okay walk me through your resume tell me more about this or why do you think we should hire you these are the things they want from you that do you know their problem do you know their kpis goals and do you know how to achieve them through your skills experience expertise certifications all right so this is the first thing you should help them answer inside their mind when you are uh, going through interviews now the second question what will it be like working with you so you got to understand that they have called you for an interview it means that they have gone through your resume they feel that you are likely a fit right they have gone through your resume they have called you for interview means what that initial screening has happened but what their interview ro- sorry resume's role stops there right what resume cannot show them is how as a person as a professional you are how it's like to work with you can you show that through resume no right so those interviews those few minutes and up to an hour of interaction or maybe several rounds of interview so several hours of interaction they are indirectly judging will they like working with you as simple as that many times what i've seen is even middle managers and senior professionals take interviews as an assessment as an exam and th- they go to interviews with that mindset that i have to answer these questions they are going to shoot bullets at me and i have to answer them correctly you know there is only correct answer to all interview questions and if you know i cannot answer them i am out right like a school exam or college exam no it's much more than that don't take it as an exam finally you have to build rapport with that other person especially if that person is your potential boss or department head hiring manager reporting manager they have to know how is it like working with you so that rapport building is as important as your skills and experience okay finally they are judging i mean are you will, will i you know if i am a hiring manager will i like working with you uh, they are searching for potential candidates right even many times hr managers look for culture fit why is that they are checking whether you fit into our type of working style and if you can make that rapo and help them sync with you it will increase your chances of getting selected okay so it's much more than skills and experience when it comes to interviews finally whether they like working with you whether they trust you are equally important okay so this is my second thing what will it be like work with you is the second question they want answered during the interviews now third one is can you learn so it feels obvious you always put that learnability i'm a fast learner as your strength you think yeah um, i will learn on the job what's great thing but they are going to judge that during the interviews how see what happens is that they understand that even though they have called you for an interview that first screening has happened you match the basic skill requirements still on the job you have to learn a lot of things right which specific to that company or you are slightly changing your industry or role you got to learn things they understand that but do you have that learnability and the first thing about learnability is that will you accept that you don't know something okay so many times they are asking you specific questions maybe even technical questions to stump you or you know to really shock you okay that trick questions and at that time if you fake your knowledge if you say yeah i know that you know and you kind of you know go through that thing as if 
you know everything and you answer it in a wrong manner they think that you know you don't know what you don't know actually it means that you know you are too proud to learn anything new instead of that what you can do sometimes it's okay to say i do not know this even in an interview you can say i understand that this is important for you this area but you know what i haven't worked on this i haven't studied this in detail so far uh, i haven't got an opportunity to work on this so i i i think i cannot answer this question to the depth that you are expecting me to there is a way to say no sometimes if it's a situational question and suddenly you know you cannot think of answering or what would you do in that situation you can as well say yeah it's a great you know it's a really good question is it okay if i think aloud and sort of walk walk you through my answer or my thought process and basically you are showing your thought process or answering on the go and there your answer doesn't matter as much as your way of thinking or your thought process and you might be able to win over them just by showing how structured your thinker are or in a structured manner you can solve a problem or how you think in a new situation right that also is very good a way to approach such questions and even you can ask okay yeah i, I understand that this area is important for you do you think i'll be able to learn this thing when i join do you think uh, you know i can shadow someone or do you think you can give me some specific tutorials or do you have if it's a technical thing do you sponsor certain courses i know i'll be able to learn this quickly you can put the ball back at them all right so can you learn don't sort of get into a situation where they understand that you are too proud to learn anything new but in a situation where or you make them understand that your thought process is there some things you don't know but some things you are ready to learn okay so this is another thing indirectly they want you answered then fourth thing is do you take initiative okay because finally if you are applying for middle management or senior management level they will not tell you everything right you do this do this do this they will not give you the entire task list they want you to take initiative they want you to think on your own and solve problems how can they judge right during the short span of interviews how can you show that you take initiative you can start with interviews themselves right do you come prepared for interviews and many times professionals feel that you know uh, this new job is very similar to what i have been doing so you know i am anyway prepared i do this every day so i'll just go to the interview and i will be able to answer everything but it rarely happens that way right it rarely happens that way uh, you got to come prepared for typical interview questions and you have to prepare for that particular company so know everything about that company what that company does even if you are looking for senior positions even their balance sheet profit and loss statement right like how big is that company how profitable is that company what what are their customers b2b b2c what are those typical product lines if it's a multinational where do they operate you know know everything about the company and even its strengths and weaknesses right sometimes you know they are good in this but they are they have too much competition in this area and based on your department you can ask questions or you can get into a discussion with company's future and how you can add value to certain elements of that you know let's say product plan or marketing plan whatever their future they see or you can have some unique perspective or even ideas about it this way you show that you haven't come for a interview you have come for the interview okay you haven't come for any interview you have come for the interview you are well prepared for that interview you took initiative to prepare go through company's financials history products and come prepared that how you are better fit for that type of company how you are excited and committed to joining this company all these things indirectly are telling them that you take initiatives 
and you are not you know just want a job any job you know like you just happen to uh, apply to this job and got an interview but you are specifically looking for this type of company and they'll be really excited to work with you after this all right so i've covered all four elements if you have any specific questions about it you can comment below or you can even dm me on linkedin i'll be answering those questions i think i'll really uh, would like your comment if you like this if you found this useful please like hit the, hit the like button and put the comment below so far i covered or in this live i covered four things will you help them achieve their goals what will it be like to work with you can you learn and do you take initiatives these are four things hiring managers want answered during your interviews and if you like this linkedin live and in just 15 minutes if you felt that i could add a lot of value to your job search strategy i do webinars on weekends where one and a half hours of power packed webinar and my webinars are like really super energy okay so if you would like to get into such webinar make sure you know you will see uh, uh this uh, you will see a link right here and you will even uh, be able to now see a link to joining the webinar all right so register for my webinar which is happening this saturday which is tomorrow uh if you are joining me live 7 pm india time and it's one and a half hour soft power packed webinar you will get a step by step blueprint for job search if you are struggling with job search you are confused stressed out you are getting rejected again and again you are not getting hired for the right roles or right compensation make sure you join uh, my webinar i'll give you three top secrets all right three top secrets to get to convince interviewers to uh, become a magnet attracting best opportunities and how your resume and linkedin can be you know really uh, can be power packed all right so i cover these three secrets in one and a half webinar and make sure you join that link is right here on your screen or i'll put that link in the comments below all right i hope you like this session if you have any comments or questions please type them below uh, thank you uh, i think uh, thank you amit thank you uh, many of you have joined thank you so much i'll be doing this live every week so make sure you you stay tuned